All right. What do you guys want to talk about? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Let's do this. Hmm, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, the Fortitron. And today, we're gonna be going over a question that I've probably been asked probably about a thousand times. Uh, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel or follow me on Twitch. Uh, the links are below. Uh, but yeah, strap in, buckle up, put some boots on, get a raincoat, grab an umbrella, because today we're going to be answering the question, how in the hell do you set up your OBS on your Mac? All right, real quick disclaimer. You're going to need some stuff to be able to do this. So big one, you need a computer. Preferably a Mac in this case, or the video's not gonna make sense. You're gonna need a microphone. You're gonna need a capture card. Get the Elgato HD60S Plus. It's the one that works the best. You're gonna need a camera of some kind. DSLR or a webcam, whatever you got. The camera that's built in your laptop. Who cares? Use a camera. Um, but you're gonna need these things. Oh, and also you're gonna need some good internet. Something with good upload speeds. No, don't worry about downloads. Also, we're gonna be working in OBS. Not Streamlabs OBS, just regular OBS Studio. So download that on your Mac right now. All right, you ready? You ready? Okay, so I hope this works. Um, so this is your OBS window here. So just your basic OBS window. These are a bunch of scenes that I have on the left side here, but I've made a new scene here. And as you can see, I've added my camera and I've added my microphone. Um, for those of you that are really new to OBS, I know when you open it up, it kind of looks like, it looks like math. Like it looks like, oh my God, what what the hell is all of this stuff? Do I need to read a book to get it? No, you don't. It's actually quite simple once you understand um, where everything is and what the limitations are of OBS. So you're gonna have like a few main sections here. So your big screen in the middle here, that is, uh, your canvas, that is what you're gonna be streaming uh, to the internet, to the world. Uh, in this case, my canvas is set to 1080p60. Um, like I mentioned before, if you have uh, like not the greatest internet, you might wanna scale down to 720p60, but if you have a decent upload speed, so anything above uh, 15 megabits per second, you, you can do 1080p60. So this is your main canvas in the middle here. On your left here, these are your scenes. So this is how you switch in between like, like look, I got like my be right back screen, my end screen. I've got one for when I record my YouTube videos. I've got one for talking head for when I'm on stream and I just wanna chat. Um, these are all your different scenes that you can switch between. Uh, you got your sources here that are in each scene. So sources are all the things that you're adding to your canvas. So like I got my cam here, I've got my microphone. You're gonna also add your capture card here. You can add like um, images that have like your logo on it. So you can like kind of watermark your own stream. You can put like your social media links, things like that. Um, those are all in your sources here. Your audio mixer, this is important to pay attention to because this is how you can tell if your levels are good, if you're too loud, if the game's too loud. Hot tip, every time before you're ready to stream, do a quick recording first and then play it back to yourself and make sure that your audio levels are okay because there's nothing worse than watching a stream where like something's way too loud or way too quiet. So do a recording first before every stream just to make sure that the audio levels are good. Um, really good tip. Uh, here's like your scene transition. So I just have it to the basic fade. So that just means when you click in between your scenes on the left here, uh, it just has like a nice fade in fade out effect rather than just like harsh, like, uh, like to the next scene. Some really good information, how long you've been live for, how long your record time is. And then, um, your stream statistics, like what you're streaming at. So I'm streaming at 60 frames per second and my CPU is at 3.6%. So if you see your CPU spiking or it's working really hard, 
uh, you might have too many effects or too many items in your canvas, um, or you're streaming at too high of a resolution or too high of a bit rate, and your processor is having a really tough time uh, transcoding that footage. So that's something that you guys gotta understand. So when you're live streaming, it's taking a HD image and it's transcoding that video signal in real time to upload to the Twitch servers. So it's not gonna just take the raw video file that you record with, cause that's too high of a bit rate. It's too big of a file. Let's go into the preferences um, of OBS here. So this is another main window that you're gonna see here. Um, so this is where you change a lot of like your streaming settings. So the biggest ones you're gonna be looking at is your stream and your output and maybe your video settings. So let's look at output here. I have it set to advanced. Um, the encoder, uh, I have it set to hardware encoding um, because I have a good GPU on my Mac. But if you do not have a good graphics card or a Mac that has a, a GPU built in, maybe it's only got integrated graphics, switch it to X264, because that's gonna use your processor to encode that video signal. And you know what? A lot of the modern processors are actually much better at coding video, especially HD video, uh, than a lot of the older GPUs are. So if you've got like a Mac from like 2015 or even older, it's probably better to use the CPU than uh, that older GPU. Um, so go to your stream here, and then this is where you set your stream service, so mine is Twitch. Um, let's go down to video, and this is where you set your canvas size. So like I said, I've got mine set to 19, uh, 1080p, and it's at 60 frames per second. So if you have an older Mac, or maybe it's not quad core, you should set it to 720p because you're just, you're going to cook your CPU. Your CPU is going to be maxed out all the time and you're, you're going to, that's going to be your biggest bottleneck. So lower your canvas size and then also change your stream settings, your output settings, uh, to a lower bit rate. Um, like I talked about before, uh, with video, so you, you got your canvas and you got your output. So you got your two sections here. Um, make sure these are both the same. So you, okay, so you could have a 1080p canvas and be outputting to 720p 60, but that does put an extra load on your processor because it's having to downscale that footage as well as encode it for the upload to Twitch or whatever. So you want it to be the same, especially if you're finding that your processor is a little bit older um, or maybe your hardware isn't there, you should have these both changed to the same size. The only reason why you would want them different and maybe downscale a little bit is maybe if, let's say you're on the road or like you're going to like a, a convention when those things used to happen um, and your computer isn't the bottleneck, like you've got like a really good processor, really good graphics card, it's your internet that's maybe the bottleneck, then I would maybe keep your canvas at 1080 and then change your output to 720. That would be the only time that you would have different between canvas and output scaling. So output here, we've already talked about that, and then this is also where I have my bit rate set here. So. Again, if you're streaming it in 1080p, uh, I might even just change it to 9,000. But depending on your internet speeds, you should go to like speedtest.net, do a speed test, and then see what your upload speeds are. That's the most important thing. So kilobits per second are different than megabits per second. So let's say you've got 15 megabits per second upload. So that means you could probably go up to about 12,000 kilobits per second. So a thousand kilobits is about one megabit, um, roughly. I don't know if the math is 100% correct on there, but that's the math that I kind of use there. Um, if you want to stream in 1080p 60, I recommend going no lower than about 8,000 kilobits per second uh, to get the best looking stream. 
Uh, if you don't have the internet bandwidth for that, then that's when I would downscale to 720p60. And then for 720p60, you can go anywhere from like, it's recommended between 4,000 and 7,000 kilobits per second. Uh, so that's bit rate right there. Okay, let's stop right there. So I wanna clear something up real quickly here because a lot of streamers get bit rate and streaming resolution mixed up or they don't understand how one has to do with the other. So let's say you wanna stream in 1080 60. So you wanna have a good bit rate because that's the information, that's the data that you're recording and uploading to the Twitch servers all simultaneously, all in real time. And the higher the bit rate you have, the more flow of data that you're allowing OBS to use. So the best way that I can uh, make an analogy for it is, let's say you're painting a house. Are you gonna paint a house with, with one brush? No, cause that's stupid. You're gonna use like a paint sprayer or a paint roller and you're gonna do it a lot faster that way. So if you want your stream to look as best as possible and you want your gameplay footage and your cam footage to look as crisp as possible, up that bit rate as much as you can. Now that we got that out of the way, let's add some stuff to our scene here. So in our sources tab, uh, we're gonna hit the plus sign. Guess what that does? <laughs> so there's plus and minus. So if you wanna get rid of something, you hit the minus. If you wanna add something, you hit the plus. Uh, and then a little cog wheel here, that's like the properties or the settings for each of your items and sources. Uh, so let's add our capture card. So we're gonna go to plus, and then we're gonna choose video capture device. And then you'll see that I already have a couple existing here. Um, if you wanted to create a new one, you just name it whatever you like. So as you see here, I've got my HD60S plus. So whatever capture card you have, if you have an Elgato, if you've got uh, the Avermedia, if you've got the, the, the no name brand one, whatever, just name it whatever you want. And then once you hit okay, that'll take you to the next window here. And then you'll be able to choose your device from the device list here. Um, if it's not one of those things that I've already added. So I'm gonna cancel that. We're gonna get rid of that with the minus button. Huh? Are you sure you wanna get rid of this? Yes. So we're gonna go plus video capture device and then I've already got the HD60S here. So I'm gonna add that. And you see I've got nothing on my screen here. I got a big goose egg. So let's hit the cog. And we are gonna choose, that's the only resolution that we can choose. Maybe we can go to here. No, we'll keep it at use preset. So that's another thing here. So from the device, sometimes um, when you change USB ports, it doesn't show up anymore. So you just gotta go here, boom. And there we go. We see my uh, PS4. So as we can see, it's not laid out in the way that we want. So let's change the size of the, uh, the source here. So we're just gonna right click and then you can just go to transform and then we are going to fit screen. But now you see it's on top of my camera. So let's move this to the very top and there we go. So now I'm on top of the video source here. So I hear audio, but I'm pretty sure you can't hear the audio from the game. So as you can see here in my audio mixer here, I still only have my Yeti microphone. So how do you think we're gonna fix this? You got it, we gotta press the plus sign. And just like we chose video capture device, we're gonna choose audio input capture. So audio input, cause it's inputting to our computer. And then again, we're gonna choose HD60S audio, which is something I've already created before. And as you can see here, you can tell it's working because when I move stuff, but yeah, so as you can see here, the audio is working because you can see it change in the audio mixer here. Um, like I mentioned before, it's always good practice to do a, a start recording and do a video recording. Uh, first, before you hit up your stream, just to check the audio levels and make sure everything sounds right and everything's at a good balance. So the game isn't too uh, loud or you're not too loud. 
vice versa here. Pretty basic, right? So like you add your video, your, your camera, you add your capture card, you add your microphone. And then from there, like it's all gravy, like all the, all the little things that you wanna add. Let's say you wanna add your Twitch chat or like whatever chat. Um, that's gonna be a web uh, source. So we're gonna hit the plus sign and then it's in browser. And then I've already got a couple for chat box and new alerts. So when you go to the Twitch website, when you log in with your credentials, uh, you'll be able to navigate to widgets and then you'll be able to go to chat and then there'll be a link that you can copy. Maybe it's not through Twitch, it might be through uh, Streamlabs OBS uh, website and then you log in with your Twitch services there and that's how you get like your custom alerts like I mentioned before and then that's what you add to uh, the web service here. So if we just like, we're gonna call this chat test and see here, it's got a section for uh, URL and how big you want it. A lot of this stuff is like you don't have to edit. You would just put in the, the URL for your chat. And then once you've done that, so let's get rid of this. And we're just gonna add the one that I've already made before. So chat box, it's gonna show up here and you can choose how big or how little you want it. And what's cool is when you chat, even if you're not streaming live, if you chat, it should come through. So let's do a test. See, comes right through. Even though that I'm not streaming right now. So that's how you could tell if it's working. You can just like chat with yourself, and another thing is don't get mixed up with how small it may look on your monitor. I would always, like I said, do a recording and then maybe send yourself a, a, a test chat and then exit out of everything and then watch that video full screen to see how it looks. Um, and that's the best way to gauge of how big you should make some of your items. Um, but yeah, that's like that's pretty much it, like adding all your stuff here. Um, so you can go from like a basic stream to this. Uh, this is what my main stream looks like. I'm sorry that this video is already so long. So I've got a few things going on in my stream here. So uh, you see like I've got my follower goal at the bottom left. So one of these things is just text and one of them is actually an element that can be updated. So I don't have to manually change that text file all the time. And it works with another app. Um, I've got my latest subscriber that scroll, scrolls at the bottom, so that's pretty cool. And I've got like my watermark at the bottom right here. Also on my camera here, um, I do have a border for it. So if I turn the camera off, you see like I just have a basic square border. And it just, it's subtle, but it just adds like a little, like a little finesse. And that's what you want. Um, it really depends on the look that you're going for. You could go all out uh, hot gamer girl, like esports person and like have a bunch of stuff all over your screen. I personally am not a fan of that look, but if that's what you want, it's your stream, baby. Do what you want, make it your life. Represent yourself in the way that you feel is best. Cool, I don't know, I, f I feel like this is good. All right, so that was a lot of information and I hope you feel a lot better about using OBS on your Mac and like how to set up your stream, how to make it look the way that you want it to look um, and like what the difference between like bit rate and screen resolution is, that kind of stuff. I really hope I helped you answer these questions. Um, yeah, well that's gonna be it for me. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I thank you all for your support so much. And then also follow me on Twitch. I'm at twitch.tv forward slash Jimmy Fornitron. Um, hey, check out my SoundCloud as well. I've got some copyright free metal music uh, for y'all to use in your streams or your videos. Uh, more being uploaded all the time. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head out of here. Uh, if you guys could just do me one more favor, have yourselves a great day. Cheers everybody.